Hello folks. So this is the continuation of previous video of series named uh, Building Chatbot from Scratch using TensorFlow. And I will be covering some of the neural uh, or in, not neural, in fact, natural language processing concepts like uh, word tokenization, stemming, removing duplicate words, etc. in this video to pre-process our data before we create the actual training data set. So let's start with, uh, you know, uh, writing some code to uh, basically explore TF Learn code, uh, which is a kind of a framework built on top of TensorFlow. As I told you earlier in the, and uh, uh, if I told you in the earlier video. So folks, this is Nitin who is on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data, Hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I'm regularly creating the associated content and publishing it as well on a periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. You can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest update regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at the links given above. So let's move on with, uh, you know, some uh, explaining the code associated with it. So let me open my Jupyter, uh, not Jupyter, in fact, it's kind of a Jupyter notebook. So uh, it's a collab notebook, basically. So this is my Google collaboratory notebook. Okay. First, uh, as I told you earlier, I imported some uh, natural language processing related library. The first one is uh, in the list is NLTK and here NLTK stands for Natural Language Toolkit. Okay, and this toolkit is one of the most uh, uh, you know natural language processing uh, libraries which uh, most powerful NLP libraries which contains packages uh, to make machine uh, you know understand human language and reply to it with an appropriate response okay uh, tokenization stemming lemmatization punctuation character count uh, word count are some of these packages which will be uh, discussed uh, you know um, in this tutorial so next up in the list is this nltk dot download punct okay so we need to download punct if in case we want to tokenize the sentences into individual words and i will be covering uh, word tokenization very briefly later on okay if you don't uh, you know use this particular line of code then you will get a error here so keep on um, i mean please note that uh, you actually include this particular line of code here Okay, so uh, next up in the list is nltk.stem.lancaster uh, from where I imported Lancaster Stemmer, okay, here, right? And uh, then I created an object of Lancaster Stemmer here. So here I'm just creating the object of it and giving it a name as, uh, and storing, basically storing it in the variable named Stemmer, okay? So Lancaster uh, Stemmer is a word stemmer based on uh, the Lancaster stemming algorithm. And this is required to do word stemming here. So let me tell you briefly about word stemming, okay? So stemming uh, is the process where we produce morphological variants of a root or base word. A stemming algorithm reduces the words uh, for example, let us say I have a word weights, W A I T S, weights, weighted, waiting. Okay, so what this is stemming algorithm will do is it will reduce these three words into the root word called weight. And let us say if we have uh, other words like cooked, cooker, cooking. So if we have these kind of, these three words so um, the stemming algorithm will reduce these three words into a uh, root form of uh, to the root word uh, known as or called as cook okay so what i'm saying is if we have three different words cooked cooker cooking uh, the stemming algorithm will reduce these three words to a stem word called cook okay 
so this is a little uh, brief introduction of stemming okay next uh, what i'm doing here is next i'm importing some libraries which we need for you know tensorflow processing so these are some of the libraries here which we will use for tensorflow processing and um, let me scroll down so uh, first one in the list is tensorflow as we all know which is required for tensorflow related, related operations uh, second one is this numpy as np which is required for doing mathematical computations in terms of multidimensional arrays and matrices and other mathematical operations next one is uh, tflearn which is a high level abstraction uh, layer for tensorflow and we are going to use it to implement deep neural network by creating different layers of deep neural network okay next i am importing library named random to generate uh, either pseudo random number or to shuffle the features okay and lastly I am uh, importing the JSON library here okay to read the JSON file okay and I'm going to read intent file here in fact using the JSON uh, format so my intent file is in JSON format okay and I'm going to read that JSON format using the uh, this library json library and this file will be used for model training purpose the intent file is, will be used for model training purpose and I, as i explained in earlier video uh, this file will have data in json format and will contain various components like tag patterns and responses okay so let me scroll down so once you uh, run this cell you will get um, messages like these okay all right so next one in the list is this particular statement from google.colab. Uh, google.colab import files and then files.upload okay so uh, i am using upload functionality of google colab in order to upload our intense json file format okay so i uploaded my json file intense file intense.json file which was this file okay so this is my intense.json okay so uh, this is my intense.json file which i am going to upload using uh, the statements given in google, google colab jupyter notebook okay so using uh, this these particular statements so when you run this cell of uh, particular cell this particular upload file option will appear and when you click on choose files it will locate your uh, you know it will open a dialog box from where you can just choose your uh, intents.json file and can upload it so it, you can see the message saving intents.json to intents.json so it just uploaded the file so that i can use it for training purpose here okay so next uh, i am uh, let me scroll down a bit further all right so i next i am reading uh, my intents file uh, by opening it first and then using json dot load command for loading the file please note we need to retrain the model every time uh, you know we add more intents in this uh, json sorry intents.json file okay or every time we update this intents.json file so make sure that you are retraining your model if you are adding more intents in this file okay so when i um, uh, you know uh, ran the cell uh, it ran perfectly and then when i ran this intent cell it showed me the content of this intents file okay which you already saw, so you know, um, which I saw, I saw you separately, uh, right? So this is this is the content, same content of JSON, intent start JSON file. So let me scroll down a bit further. Okay, so here in this particular cell, uh, I created an empty list for storing individual words using this particular list, words list. Okay. Um, and using classes uh, I would be storing the classes or tags in that intents file 
and in the uh, this is the empty documents file where I will be storing the documents okay and I also initialized uh, this particular ignore the list where I have included this question mark okay so what I wanted to do is I wanted to ignore words or characters uh, certain punctuation characters okay and for that purpose I created this list so what essentially it will do is uh, uh, you know it, it will uh, so if if I include any punctuation mark in there I will be basically checking uh, that punctuation mark late in the later uh, code okay to exclude those punctuation mark uh, or you know unwanted characters from the list of words so in this word list I will be just including only the actual words and not punctuation or any other special characters it this list will only contain the actual words so that's and in order to do that we just need to exclude uh, those punctuation mark and I will be utilizing this list to exclude those special characters or punctuation marks okay and you can add your own additional punctuation characters uh, or special characters in this list so basically you can extend this list uh, and if there are any uh, other words which you don't want to include in this words list okay unique word list then you can include those unwanted uh, characters here only in the ignore list and there are certain uh, you know stop words like a and the so you can exclude those words by keeping uh, um, them uh, listed here okay so next i am looping through each sentence here using for loop what i am doing is i am looping through each sentence in the intent pattern using for loop so first i am reading each intent and inside each intent i am reading each pattern okay and i'm reading each pattern to tokenize each word in the sentence using nltk dot word tokenize method well now you will ask what is tokenization so let me give you a brief idea of it well tokens are nothing but individual english words and tokenization is another methodology in a natural language processing using which you can take a text or set sentence or set of text and breaks or chops it into individual words these tokens are then used as input for performing some analysis or tasks like calculating token frequency etc okay so now i am adding each of the tokenized words okay um, tokenized or chopped off words into a list named words which was our empty list right so now I am adding the individual words using this extend keyword okay so I am iterating through each uh, pattern and then um, including the individual words into this particular list okay uh, so next I am basically adding a combination of words present in pattern section and its corresponding tags so this one and the corresponding tag here okay uh, and lastly i am storing the tags as classes okay so here if intent tag not in classes then classes dot append intent tag okay so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, storing the tags as classes and adding each one of them in the classes list. Okay. So if you see in the next cell uh, with a single line of code. So this is a single line of code. Okay. So with this single line of code, uh, I'm changing the case of all words. Okay. Uh, to lower case okay so w dot lower what it does is if let us say any word is in capital letters or the first word is in capital letters it will con convert all those capital letter words into small uh, smaller case or lower case just like given here so you can see this all these words are in lower case right 
and uh, uh, lowercase okay and whether they are in uppercase or lowercase i'm just converting them to lowercase and then i'm stemming these words to the root or base form and then so if you see i use this stammer dot stem and i enclosed this particular w dot lower inside this particular function so what it will do is it will just convert uh, you know the words into the root or base form okay and you can see that i'm using the ignore list here to basically remove all the unwanted characters okay so uh, i'm kind of ignoring all the punctuation marks contained in this ignore list as i explained you earlier so i am ignoring all the unwanted characters or special characters or punctuation mark using this statement so you can see in this single statement i lowered lower cased all the words i stamped them and then i ignored unwanted or excluded unwanted characters right so in the le next um, line i am just removing the duplicate words here right using this set keyword i am just removing the duplicate classes uh, duplicate words and in the subsequent line i am just removing the duplicate classes okay uh, <clears throat> yeah right and then i am just printing all these documents classes and words right by using print a statement so that you can see that in my intents file there are 31 documents nine classes and you can see these classes are nothing but individual tags let me show you so you can see the tag is goodbye tags thanks so it is included here tag is goodbye thanks is here right then another one is hours location so here you can see hours and location so the classes are nothing but individual tags and then you have 57 unique stamped words so you can see that uh, these are stamped words here so anyone is uh, stamped into anyone right so and so forth so these are all stamped words and we have 57 unique stamped words in this intents file okay so in a nutshell we created a list of uh, documents or sentences and uh, each sentence is a list of stamped words and each document is associated with an intent or a class okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i explained about concepts like word tokenization stemming and removing uh, duplicate words in this video uh, we also uh, created a word list class classes list and document list in this video so let me ask you a question from uh, today's video uh, how can we exclude some special characters and collect only words uh, which are required in a list please post your comments in the comment section given below because i get motivated as well as get a chance to incorporate your feedback right you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section uh, i will be glad to answer your questions and if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on bell icon to receive notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos so keep on watching